In this week's episode of Working With Apps, I'm going to show you how I use the fantastic Text Expander. Hello and welcome to episode 10 of my Working With Apps series. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to show you how I use Text Expander from Smiles Software. Now Text Expander is one of those ones just like last week's episode, uh, an application that's really tiny but boy does it save me so much time. Text Expander essentially collects snippets of, they call it snippets, but lines of text that you regularly use and all you need to do is access some kind of keyboard command or keyboard shortcut if you like uh, to be able to expand that text. Now a really, really simple one is I like to use today's date uh, on a regular basis and rather than trying to remember the date or to have a look at my watch to see what the date is all I have to do is type T date and it will bring me out actually I use E date because I want to have the date written in the British format English date uh, I also use it for filing so I use uh, F TF, I think it is. Uh, something <laughs> I can never remember it because I always remember it on the keyboard, but I don't remember it when I'm trying to recite it. Anyway, I use these kind of keyboards, which will then bring up the file system naming that I use in my filing system on my computers and in my cloud drives. So it's a really, really useful function. I also use it for uh, when we're hiring teachers uh, for our company. What we find is that quite often I have to um, reject a few teachers because they don't have the necessary experience or qualifications. Um, and I actually just use a text expander snippet. I know it's not very personal, but you know, when you've got to send out 10, 20, 30 of these emails, it's, it is just so much faster to be able to send them out as using text expander. It is such a wonderful application and one that I strongly recommend it for anybody who wants to save themselves hours of time every year then Text Expander will do that for you. Okay before we go into Text Expander and I show you how I use it I would just like to say if you like this episode please click on the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe. Okay let's get into to Text Expander and I'll show you how I use it. Right, so what I'm going to do is show you for how I can get into my text expander from my desktop. Text, text expander, blur. Text expander I have up here in my uh, menu bar at the top. And I have so many different ones down here. I even have a legacy one here from my OmniFocus uh, days. I also have my Todoist ones down here, which I use. Um, I have YouTube. Uh, I have different ones here with these ones that came in from text expander I've got teaching ones here um, suggested snippets so we got some here spelling because I always seem to spell business wrong so I actually use it for my correcting any spelling that I might have I have my social media here so I can actually use uh, it puts tags into my Instagram account and so on sample snippets again there's all sorts of wonderful ones that they put in there for you I should actually clean this up actually I've got some productivity ones there so Jed um, which I think is my journal journal editing date or journal entry date uh, planning PP planning why do you want so I've got all sorts of things in there meeting note minutes which is really really good and I'll show you that in a second I even have one here for foreign thanks which is fantastic because I don't have to remember any of these they're all in here I can say thanks in Japanese Japan thanks I can say thanks in binary which is a bit weird uh, but sure I can do that I can do it in TAC, I, uh, TAC which is Icelandic thanks uh, I've got all sorts of ones in here uh, I think somebody had actually given me yeah Klingon thanks there you go I can actually say thank you in Klingon so I've got all sorts of ways there Indian thanks uh, Chinese thanks I don't need Korean because obviously I can speak Korean so that's already in there well, I can speak I can say thank you in Korean I speak Korean so there's all sorts of like email I've got lots of ones in here for email uh, date stamps there's 
many for date stamps and of course I've got my address uh, Korean address natural planning template I don't know why that's in addresses and I've got my office addresses here too so all of these are in here so that's basically how what I've some of the stuff that I've got in text expander what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this actually works for those of you who've never used it text expander so in the introduction I used I, I mentioned about how I use it for my dates so all I need to do is type e-date and it will give me the 2nd of December. So now you know the date that I'm recording this. I also have my free talking file date. So these are the documents I would send out to my students, which is FTF. Uh, and that will put in the date with the prefix FT so that it will go into the right file. Uh, I've got my file date, which is F date. And this is how I would actually set up a file in my cloud or in any of my documents. Uh, I also have my uh, doffer. Uh, which is to decline an offer uh, that some agencies send me asking me to teach various classes around Seoul. So I use the word doffer because I get so many of these and it's just a pain in the butt having to type it out all the time. So I just have a standard one. So I do apologize for all of you, um, all of you guys out there. If you send me emails asking me to teach various classes as an agency, then I'm afraid I'm not available. And then I have things like uh, when I send out my invoices. So I have this one, which is um, one for, and I actually have the date for November, which is the previous month. So I attach your invoice and feedback for November. Have a great weekend. See you soon, Carl. So I use this for so many things. And as I think I mentioned, I, uh, I also have, I think it's Insta. There you go. Uh, so this one here gives me the tags that I would use on Instagram uh, or one that I have used on Instagram. Um, another one that I use it for is, uh, let me think. Um, well, there's so many different ones. It's, it's always hard to remember. Yeah, if I, um, uh, I can't remember, but I, <laughs> I misspell business and I'll show you how it corrects spelling if you commonly uh, misspelling ones. The ones that I use with Todoist, which I think some people, um, so journal entry date. So that gives me the date how I want it to appear in my journal. Because um, I, as you know, I use Evernote for my journaling. And let me think, there's other ones that I use it for, like uh, current TO. Now, for those of you who use um, Todoist, you know that the double exclamation mark means that this will go bold. And today's outcome uh, and then P1 will give me the flag. So this is how I actually, when I'm doing my daily mini review, I can go through my task for the next day and just add the today's outcome without having to type it all out every time. So these are just some of the ways that I use Text Expander. There are so many different ways that you can use it. And as you can see here on my cell phone, it's really, really useful on the cell phone because you do get the, the Text Expander keyboard. So even if the application doesn't support Todoist, you can actually still use the, the uh, Text Expander keyboard to actually can make these uh, text snippets actually work. So hopefully this has given you some really good ideas about what you can use Text Expander for. It is quite expensive. You need to be quite serious about wanting to use something like this. But if you are looking for something that will help you uh, put dates in and, and write out commonly used emails and so on, then Text Expander is fantastic. Hopefully you've got something out of this. If I can be uh, answer any of your questions, please feel free to leave your questions in the comment section below. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week.